Hello everybody and welcome back to the video. Today's little adventure is going to be bolstering our army, joining the Azerai, and then trying to take back Quayas. We spoke last time about why I wanted to wait before I joined the Azerai, and the main reason was I wanted one of their actual towns to fall. Now, if I join the Azerai now, and then manage to liberate this town, there is a very good chance that they will give it to me as a reward, because I will, I've just joined them and that will be my first fief. So it's a great opportunity to join them now and see what I can do. However, I will have to join them, do a few battles to build up enough influence to raise an army big enough to take it back and also have enough influence to vote for myself and make sure that I can get it. And I've got to try and do all of that before somebody else liberates the town. So, but while we're here, um, we're just going to go and wait for a little bit. And then when the daytime comes, we're going to do this little arena. First money is always a good thing. You can never have too much of it. Now hopefully in this video we'll start getting into some more of the battle elements. I'm going to try and create some distance here. Oh well, I still got around to the next round. It's always tough for 2v1. Just give our guys the ground advantage. Ow. So we can chase down the sky. That was a good shot on the horse. Sorry, Mr. Horsey. Is that guy down? Not a particular fan of these uh, sword and board rounds. Alright, I'm going to try and... Uh-oh, that was a bad idea. Almost cost myself the fight then. Thankfully, whoever this guy is, he decided to keep his shield up, which was a smart thing to do. I am not known to lose these rounds, he says as he takes a javelin to the arm. Wastes one on a shield. Ay ay ay. Must be getting rusty. The ambassador's a decent sword, I believe. Uh yep. Could get a little bit longer length. I'm not overly bothered about the PS damage. The cut damage what some what is what I'm bothered about, as I'm a horseman, so I'll take that. He's already got a Spartha with an arrow fuller. 100% upgrade for him. Great for him. Everyone wins. Right, so we are at 61. Our max army size, I believe, is 93 at the moment. So I suppose the decision is whether or not we go to try and fill up to the full 93 with the split that we've got, or we just start fighting now. Uh, I think I should at least fill up on recruits. We'll start heading towards um, da -da -da -da. one quid. Oh, he's currently prisoner. Ooh, do we attempt a prisoner break? That could be fun. If I get caught, I'll lose everything. 
Yeah, maybe not. We'll have to wait until it gets released. Because that's kind of made our decision for us. The guy that we need to talk to to join is currently uh, incarcerated. Peace to you, str Looks like they're heading for another castle. It's just typical uh, Valandian sort of strategy, though. They get like a thousand to a thousand two hundred men together. They'll start raiding, and just as soon as they've won one big battle, I imagine there's probably several um, Azerai lords in there. So now that they've diminished their ability to fight back, they'll just go and take as many castles as they can before they run out of men. Yeah, there's not enough in there to defend. There's only one of those groups attacking, maybe, but not with two attacking, not like that. We'll leave them to it for now. For now, though, there's not a lot I can do. Even if I broke in and submitted my men, I'd lose 20 men, probably, to break in. And then, with my men only being, like, T3. I, I don't think... I... I didn't mean to click on him. Um, I don't think we'd make that much of a difference. What we can make a difference with is building up an army ready for when he is released. Oh, there was another person with a uh, point there. There is a small army here. Can I join from here? Yours is not a face I Oh, I can. Cool. So let's go and try and find some fights to get into. Oh wow, there's now three armies there. That's 1,500 men on one castle. I don't think there's a single castle around here that would be able to um, take on that kind of size. Where are you going? I'm curious. You can't contest that either, buddy. Still a solid no. Yeah, I don't know what you were thinking, but that army is absolutely not big enough to take that castle or defeat all three of those Palladian armies, so we're just going to have to keep our distance for the minute. See if we can get our numbers up. We could take the horsemen, but that's a lot of expense when we're about to join an army and get into a fight where we will most likely die. Or we'll at least lose a large portion of our men, so I don't see the validity in paying 200 gold per troop to fill up my troops just to then feed them to the enemy. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I should have separated out the um, 
the weaker infantry, the um, recruits. Instead I've sent the lot. Oh, that's fine. Who is that on horseback? Oh, the recruit's got one kill, that helps. Next battle, we'll separate them out. Uh, he's coming from that direction, he's probably just cleaned out those villages, so we'll go this way. We're almost at capacity. We need more horses. So we'll stop off at uh, Asuka and get more horses. Just to increase our movement speed a little bit. Actually, that wasn't a bad shout. Ah, oh, cool. That's helpful. More horses, and then we'll jump onto the back of this army if it's big enough to actually contest anything that the uh, Volandians have got going on. Fingers crossed those three Volandian armies have separated, and we can pick them off one by one. Because trying to fight 1,300 to 1,400 Volandians at a time is uh, a tall order for anyone to actually accomplish. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I can really afford unless I've got stuff to flog. Uh, not really. That's as good as it's getting. Oh, in fact, there's a tournament on. Alright, that's like, uh, if I win, that's like a thousand two hundred. I can sell those for. Now this is one of the worst Azurai rounds to be in because at this point this axe is not long enough to hit a horse, a horseman. So I'm just kind of stuck. Picking up, throwing spears, hoping you can make a difference. There it is. Missed him. Right. Yeah, picking up throwing spears, hoping you can make a difference because I don't have a weapon long enough to actually hit these guys. Take his horse. Make things a little bit easier. How did he survive that? Did I hit him in the hand? That's 
You took some damage. Jobs are good in. Doesn't matter which arena you're in the top, the tactics are always the same. Kick, overhand, from the left, right even. Kick, overhand. Rinse and repeat, you should win any one-on-one -on -one engagement with that strategy. See if I can do it this time without getting hit. As soon as it releases, move the other way. Return. Return. Headshot. Alright. It's not better than what I've got. Uh, a total of 17, 16, a little bit better than that. Uh, you have nothing. Uh, I don't need the cash right now. Could use the mounts. Do, do I need the mounts? No, give it to him. Eesh. Uh, as much as it said, like, I got 800 from the bets, I didn't get 800 from the bets. I think my stake was, like, 500 or something like that, so I only ended up getting about plus 300 gold. At this point, when you've done this many tournaments, it isn't really worth... Oh, dear. That's 899 men coming this way. Where are you guys going? We need you. Oh, he's going to get absolutely decimated. And the other army's running away. I can't help. Like, even if I joined in, we'd bring our total to 649 against this lot. 187 cavalry, 171 cavalry, 186 infantry, 154 infantry. He's predominantly infantry. Without knowing the power level, we're probably going to get stomped. Ah, uh, this is gross. I just don't have... I can't help. I can't help. Sorry, bud. What I can do... is head deeper into... the Valandian lands and see if I can find any lords running around with not too many men. I can fight myself. We've got no What did I lose? An archer and an axeman. Whatevs. Uh, not taking prisoners. Mercenary can't... Oh, I clicked the wrong one. I meant to become a vassal, not a mercenary. Uh. Oh, well, we might as well use the opportunity to uh, build up our coffers. Oh, that was a mistake to make. I'm, I'm pretty annoyed at myself for making that mistake. Mess with us.
Damn it. Are we at war with anyone else? No. Ugh. So the ability to earn money's just dried up. See if we can do this tournament, at least put some money in the coffers. I suppose it just gives us the opportunity of the next time. If I now go back and join as a um, vassal, when we inevitably go back to war with the Valadians, I can then use that influence to raise an army and take back that town. Missed him with the lance there. Ran into the wall. Right. Pretty sure these gloves will do nicely for one of my guys. Again. Should be an easy final round. Lovely. me good for him we'll go get rid of some of this stuff over here that's fine that's fine Cheeky gear check. Make sure everyone's wearing the best they can have. Yeah, that's fine. So we can do hideouts now. So it's probably worth going and taking care of that desert hideout. Pick up any tournaments we can. Just anything we can really to increase our influence. I'm not fast enough to chase down any of these uh, groups. There's more money to be done doing uh, Sea Raider hideouts. There's also more chance of losing people. keep forgetting I'm on a mercenary contract. I need to get out of that quickly. Um, don't really want to take any of those guys. Footman. Yeah, the footman are the ones I want. Yeah! Fingers crossed these guys are going to beat the snot out of everybody. Splitting up too much. When they started heading over that hill there, 
that's not a good um, situation for them to be in, especially not just two of them, because I think there's two or three down there. So if I have to spoon feed them a little bit, I will. They share an experience pool, so it's not like I have to get them individually fighting them. I don't. As long as a collective, they take people down. There's archers on the battlefield. They're easy to level up. Uh, these guys, look. I told you there'd be at least two. Oh, there's three. So if those two guys had gone through there on their own, chances are they would have been killed. Because those star falchions that they carry, they hit hard. Like, really hard. It only really takes one or two attacks to get through for it to be uh, quite deadly. I'm coming through here because sometimes there's people sat in the cave at the back end. When your infantry is a high enough level and you can trust them to be on their own, you can just literally F1, F3 and just stand at the entrance and wait for them to have cleared it. Can't be 100%, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get most of these guys leveled up off the back of this. Ooh, hello. He's doing it again, he's running down there. Ooh. I'm not going to risk losing dudes here because we've done really well to keep them all alive all the way through. So I'll just take this guy myself. So yeah, despite the fact I only brought 9 of them in, I'm now able to level up 14 of them because of that shared experience pool. So now we got 21 of the footmen can now be upgraded to infantry. So that's brilliant. I don't really have the funds to be upgrading those yet. We'll take those because we can flog them. Not the best loot, but it is what it is. Head to the nearest town to sell the prisoners and sell the loot. Let's see what else we can find. Four point seven. We can we can chase those down. Why are we so slow? There's the prisoners. Oh, we can go to this town. Now we should be able to chase him down. I suppose this is one of the most boring parts of Banner Lord is the constant having to train your troops.
yeah, we need some of these leadership uh, skills now because they will help us with uh, getting the, the recruits up to more usable volumes. Oh, look at that. They brought us to another hideout. How fortuitous. Um, tempted to take the Axemen in this time. Only have one tribesman, so... There aren't any ranged weapons in here, so actually this might work. Or take the lone tribesman. No. Let's do it this way. This is one of the main reasons I use the Desert Bandits as like a traded area for my um, troops, is they don't have any ranged weapons. Which is weird, because their cavalry do. Uh, their cavalry are skirmishing cavalry, they do have throwing weapons. But for some reason when they go into the camps, they lose those weapons. I'm not going to complain, it gives us a safe, relatively safe space to train infantry. Archers get a bit janky in these kind of situations, they don't seem to want to be able to fire. So, if you are bringing archers here, it's probably best just to leave them on hold fire and charge them in. Then, with bows, you can tell them to follow you and just walk around, it kind of works. But with crossbows, every time you move, it stops them reloading, so it... it it's a lot of micromanaging for very little payoff. Not this way, it was just a straightforward F1, F3. So we've already killed enough to get six upgraded. Seven. They get a bonus experience at the end because of my perks as well. So fingers crossed we can get the majority of them uh, upgraded off the back of this. We'll see if we can find some like um Deserter or army of poachers quests to do as well. One, because they pay well, and two, because um, it'll give us a good opportunity to train our men. Until the next war starts. You, you've come. Again, I don't see any reason to unnecessarily risk my men. Nine's not a bad shout. I mean, 16 of them. We can do better than that. We'll leave it on the group experience pool for now. Okay. Not terrible loot. Not great. I've seen better. I've seen worse. Uh, what we got? Two cavalry, nine infantry. I've got like 22 recruits, I think. I'll put the low troop filter on again, low level troop filter on again. Move 22. Let's spread them out. Nope, there's still some in there, look. 26, 27, 28, 
29, 30, 31, 32, 35. And there's still one in there. 36. That looks about right. 36. Footman, charge! Soldiers! Horse archers! Give them hell! See if we can't take care of the, uh... The cavalry. That looks like our guys have made short work of the, uh, the enemy's infantry. My riding skill is so low, my, oh, my speed's so low. He's got to be trying to flee by now, surely. No? Cool. It's 26 of the 36 recruits ready to be, uh... Ooh. Almost threw away my loot then. Let's head to Asker. Once I've got a decent T tier 5 army, I don't mind taking risks taking on Groups that are larger than mine, because I know that a lot of armies carry a lot of low-level troops with them. I just don't want to put myself in the situation where I'm putting 100 T3 troops against 220 T5 troops and getting absolutely smashed. And just losing all the progress we've made. That would just be a bit sad. Now we're going to sell all of this stuff. Doesn't have any horses we want, so that's fine. Go to the tavern. Get rid of those. We do need to backfill a little bit. Um. I suppose we keep going for now. We're not looking. We'll auto-resolve this one. I should not have auto-resolved that one. That was a mistake. I should never auto-resolve anything. <laughs> oh well, you live and learn. Right, where can we go? Uh, not checked all the way up here. We'll go village to village, see if there's any quests to be done. Oh, there's one over there. Um, like I say, we're looking for the bandit one. In and out. I suppose it's a quick one. Bye. See if I can catch up with one of these guys so I can join them properly as a vassal instead of wasting this influence. I, I don't. Okay, so Unquid's out. So now I'll, uh, oh, he's not far away. Let's see if we can find him. Ooh, hello. We'll lose this 10 influence and the money associated with it, but it is what it is. I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. I'd rather be building up the influence. As it would be more useful further on for raising armies and sieging castles and towns. My grip. Just 
do a trade. She's a bit pants, to be honest. Um. Well, this is embarrassing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll just keep those as my personal escort. Done. What's this? Troop moves movement speed. We'll take that. And we'll take that. Thank you very much, Lee. That guy's blinged out of his brains. Yours is not. Okay, that's a fairly simple one. Just progress to rank 3 in some tournaments. How long do I get to do it? 29 days. Okay, we've got bags of time. I'm already doing an in and out quest, so... And that's in... Ascot. Let's head back up there. Let's do that one. For the in and out quests, if you're good at the board games, then obviously do them and save yourself some money. I'm personally not good at the board games, so for me it's easier just to... Um, pay the 200 and take the uh, influence gain. If you ever go into the inn and there's nobody in here, I just reload the game. It's a known bug. So yeah, I paid a thousand to get his deed back. He paid me eight hundred in thanks. I lost two hundred, but I gained six reputation with him. So all in all, it was worth it. Uh, right, I need to go and find other things to fight because otherwise we're going to run out of money. Uh, money's an issue at the moment. We've only got six thousand, and that is not going to give us a lot of uh, time, as we our wages is like seven hundred a day. This is exactly what we were looking for. I think we get 3,000 for this. Oh no, my party's just started starving. Okay, so they are going to charge us, so we want to use that to our benefit. We're going to take these off of this. Uh, let's put them in a square formation. Down here. What are these guys doing separate? Oh, is that the village? That's the village's that That's fine. Cavalry. I will lead the cavalry. That's fine. Why well, have only got 12 arches? I thought I had more than that. Uh. Thinking about it, it's not really that big of a deal. It's not that many men. Footmen, charge! Archer, onward! Soldiers, attack! It's not that many men, so we don't really need to do any sort of special tactics or anything. 
A full on rush should do it. The experience the men get will be nice, but. Yeah, these guys are going to die. Jesus Christ. I only lost one dude, that's not too bad. And we got some prisoners. And all of our recruits are ready to be upgraded. Uh, we will figure out who needs upgrading into what in a moment. Normally I tell them to keep their coin, but at the minute I am broke, so... I need the money. Uh, days until no food 10. We're going to need a lot more than that. I'm buying grain simply because it's the cheapest stuff. 34 days, there we go, that'll do. Alright, on to the next. Just gonna ping through the villages now. Any quests that are pretty easy to do, we'll pick them up. Part of the trade, I'm not interested in that. It rarely works out in your favour. Ugh. When I'm flush with money, I don't mind just buying the goods and carrying them around with me until I find somewhere to sell them. I'm not flush with cash right now, so it's not something I'm interested in taking on myself. Uh, trade. That might actually be, yeah. Can't neglect the upgrades. Okay, we've also got an army of poachers here as well. We could do betting fraud, um, but that's at odds with the um, tournament champion one that we're currently on, because she wants us to win and he'll want us to take a dive in a certain round. Which I'm not willing to do. Um, I kind of need the money, so... Heavy Warlord Pauldrons, outside of the um, specific modifier classes, They are the best uh, pauldrons in the game, so we'll definitely take those. Again, attacking the ground troops to give our guys the ground advantage. Don't know where that was supposed to go. Dizzy. Oh, 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 that was a beautiful shot. Good, good, good. Attack me, attack them. <laughs> Snicky. Ow. Oof. That got a bit ropey there for a second.
Neow. Neow. Boom, headshot. Boom, headshot. Oh, that's in his mouth. Full jump. How is he still alive? Ah, oh, cool. That's that quest completed. Uh, yeah. I mean, they look ridiculous. That's a proper, like, 80s shoulder pad <laughs> style look there. But it's fine. We'll run with it. Upgrades. Uh, what's that? 17 versus 16. Nice, no, good. He's good. Okay, so we've also got some to sell. Which is good, because we need the... What happened? I'll get rid of that as well. Okay. Now we're looking financially healthy. Uh, army poachers can do good. this. See, this army of poachers one always makes me chuckle. It's like, oh, you can keep uh, illegally harvested leathers as your reward. And then you see how many leathers I actually have and it's next to nothing. Alright, let's figure this out. Tribesmen become archers. Archers, we currently have 12. I thought we had a lot more than that. We need another 8. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, plus 2 for the guys that are going to die trying to get there. The infantry, we could do with another 9. Just double check in. Yep, it's a good job I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then two, two, three, four, five to be turned into axemen. Give us 25 axemen in total. The rest of them can just be turned into. Oops. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, all 20 Axemen can be upgraded into beefy boys. With throwing axes, one of the most pointless weapons in the game. Uh, upgrade these guys as well, why not? Should be night time that the poachers come. Fight the poachers. Under my command! Infantry! Ooh. Let's try. It entirely depends on how many poachers are here. Let's try doing our split. Can't really see that well. I'm guessing it's not going to be more than thirty dudes. Footmen, forward, move. Infantry, attack! Soldiers, jump! Move, head back, everyone! Troops, attack! We just give the um, the less experienced guys a bit of a head start. What I'm concerned about is these archers can be quite powerful, um, so I don't want to lose too many men. So by sending me in, and the cavalry is a distraction. Whoops. 
we might be able to split the group up. Maybe kill a couple. Stop our guys from getting absolutely uh, sniped. Uh, time that wrong. Oh, don't run away, that's not fun. What happened to being the big bad poacher? Didn't lose anybody, that's good. What are upgrades looking like? Uh... Hmm. Cool, almost all of the Axemen made it through. Some of the tribesmen, but not all of them. That's good. We can do. We can work with that. We're really close to a city, so I don't mind taking. Um, yeah, look, three lots of leather. So that's what three hundred and ninety-six. So it's hardly worth anything. But we'll take it. Leather. Not better for any of my guys. It's fine. Uh, what was yours again? Betting fraud. I'm not doing that. I don't know why I clicked on that, I'll be honest. Company of trouble. Peace to you, stranger. Okay. Looks like she uh, wants to give us something to do. But we already have a full army, so we can't. This one. Still the art of the trade one. Don't particularly want that. So now it looks like it's got a quest for us. Rival gang, not interested. We'll do the arena, and that is pretty much the hour. So we'll do this tournament and then we'll call it there for today. But we've done okay today. We have increased our army size up to 99. We've actually joined as a vassal now. We started building a little pool of influence. Um, our money's looking okay, gear's looking okay, so all in all we're doing well. Ooh, this would be good if we win this, that's like a 17k horse I think. Don't be like that. Ow. I'll be honest, that shot was a bit of a reach. Still can't really risk. So we kind of need the green guy to go down. That's the next one. Because 
because that will keep my brother in the fight. Because he was part of the blue team. And it also removes the, uh, the Valadium from the tournament, so we're not going to have to fight him later on. Which, in a culture rich with uh, horse combat, you definitely don't want a Valadian in there because they tend to have good horse and polearm skills. Ah, oh, missed him, missed him, missed him. That's one. Come on, buddy. Give it up. Give it up. Looks like we're against just... Oh, I was wrong. Oh. Oops. My brother was in the green team, but so was uh, a lot of other people, so... It's fine. No point in crying over spilled blood. Oh, did that miss? Come on. Alright, they're both down to about 20 hit points, so... Shouldn't be too bad to take them down now. I feel like I've done all the heavy lifting. Oof! Right in the face. Headshot. That's good. It's a little bit more coinage and we get the almost 18k in profit. That is absolutely lovely. That is a great place to end the run today. So thanks for watching everybody. If you liked the video, drop a like on it. And if you want to see the rest of this, and also we'll be doing some Manolos content um, post 26th when it comes out. I'm taking the day off on the 26th to do some content. So I should have something out that weekend. Um, so yeah, until next time.